Hey folks, how y'all doing? We're going to be doing a, a video on solar, PV, and wind home power, power bill. Um, it's February 19th, got my bill yesterday. Y'all, I'm extremely happy. It's awesome, awesome bill. I mean, good work, hard, pays hard, what you put into your system. I mean, it's good to go, y'all. Thumbs up. It's good to go. But I'm going to show you what we got going on, all that good stuff, and conditions there are 71 degrees, and it's partly cloudy. February 19th, my birthday is uh, coming up pretty soon, the 21st. Woohoo! So, anyway, we're going to show you what's going on with the power bill and all that good stuff. Uh, I'll show you the conditions, what's going on out, out here. All right. Also, I wanted to mention uh, power bill is kicking butt, but I want to thank, say thank y'all. Uh, thank you to Dar Sizzle Offshore, Darcy and Brian. Thank you so much. Uh, I asked them if they you know, wanted a hat. Uh, you know, a little shout out here and there. You know, they super great calendars. Check out our uh, website. I put a link below on my video, uh, my description. And you got to check her channel out. She fishes, hardcore woman fisherman. I'm telling you what. And our boyfriend, he, Brian, he catches a lot of good fish too. So, uh, the, he's a cameraman also. Uh, great folks, great folks. Thank y'all so much. All right, let's go ahead and show you what we got going on here. Oh, y'all all know my system. It's two wind max or high energy. Each wind turbine is 1,000 watts uh, at 24 volt. The, the front one and the back one are both at 24 volts, 1,000 watts. This upper array is all in 24 volt, series parallel, two and two, two and two, and like right here, this two and two make 24 volts. And over here, that panel's on the, that one right there is also, that's a 1,610 watt array. There's solar panels on the back side of the building, over there, they are into my 1610, 1610 watt array. These panels right here are in my uh, small off grid system, which we're building a battery bank box for that now and revamp it, revamping the whole thing. That's two 120 watt panels and a 100 watt panel all tied in series to make 340 watts. And over here is my 1060 watt array. 1,060 watt Kira Ceros. I love my Kira Ceros solar panels. Uh, they're still a bit of and they carry a great warranty. That's what I did back in the summertime with the Montana Solar. Uh, the Montana Solar PV uh, racking system. Awesome system. Montana Solar MT Solar rocks. Alright. And we're running all outback gear inside the solar shop so and the sun is popping out y'all see the conditions outside Let me zoom in that's what the conditions are like and I'll show you what the sun is doing right now it's kind of behind these trees right up there so we're getting partial, partial shading this time of the day all right let's go show you what's going on Okay, y'all, this is my 1060 watt array, and it's pumping up the juice right now. Doing really good. Also, this is a mild, been a mild winter. For we got collard greens out the yin yang. I'm telling you what, nothing better than old collard green. And we got broccoli. We got broccoli coming up there. I mean, it's just a lot of broccoli, I and mean, that's good for this time of year. I've had broccoli all winter long. And that's a whole row of broccoli right here. And here's some more broccoli right here. Yeah. But yeah, that's. 
the solar having having uh, a garden with your solar that's the way to go yeah no need needing taking too much room but this PV array is doing a great job super great I got a point of due south right now All right, let's take you inside the solar shop and show you the power bill and what everything's doing. All right. Okay, hey, y'all, this is the 840 watt array or at a 69 degree angle. We're bringing in 160 watts at 31.2 volts. That's Flex Max 80, all, all of our Flex Max 80s. A 1,610 watt array, and it's 4:14 in the afternoon. We're bringing in 380 watts at 20 at 30 volts. All right. And over here, it's a new 1,060 watt array. We're bringing in 330 S1 in the garden. That it, we're bringing in 330 watts at 57.5 volts. So yeah, it's doing pretty good. Um, bringing in a total of 870 watts right now. It's not bad for this time of afternoon. Doing really good. I'm using the Outback. GVFX 3524 and I got fans blowing in here to keep things cool all right you see my meter that's going to the house that feeds all the power in in that thing is trucking right along There we go. All right. So far today, we made 19.12 kilowatt hours. I still got more more to go. All right. I'm going to show you what the household meter's doing. All right. Back. I'm showing you actual grid power. That's the, the other other one, the 19. That's actual all power since early this morning. Battery bank and the whole nine yards. And here are my bat my, is my battery bank. Right here, I got my heat mats over top of everything. So that's kind of what that's doing. So that's keeping the batteries warm. There go. Put that back. But the battery temps. Right now, are 75 degrees. There's a battery temperature right now. All right, let's go share the household meter. All right. Okay, y'all, here's my home meter. As y'all can see, and I got my main PV, my whole solar system shut down right here. And, uh, Okay, the meter's not doing anything. Sitting dead in, dead in its tracks. All right. Of course, it's warm out here. Got the garage doors open. Out there working on a battery project. Doing that. And just, when it's this warm this time, this time of year, just, you're not using a lot of power. And this, Solar is all doing fantastic. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. But 
Yep. Doing a heck of a job. All right. Let's go inside and show you the power bill. Oh, sorry. I I'm, I get uh, sidetracked. Cut all those round, red tips down. As you can see, I think y'all remember my big there being for years, but I cut them down about two feet high. So they'll sprout back up again. They were just getting kind of bushy. They weren't doing much. But yeah, it's a uh, whole lot more open back there now. A lot more sun, a lot more airflow to the wind turbines, all that good stuff. All right. There's some power coming in there and there, y'all. Little clouds and a little shading here and there. All right, let's look at the power bill. Work 27.1 volts. All right, pull this puppy out. All right, y'all ready? All right, here we go. All right, the bill was eight dollars and sixty-three cent. Um, last year we last year we burnt four kilowatt hours the month of February, and it's been pretty mild this winter. Not extremely. I'll show you the temperatures here in a minute, but we use two kilowatt hours uh, this month. So y'all, that is kicking. Two kilowatt hours is all we burnt. All right, a rundown of the bill. All right, I love a power company. Uh, and this is dated from one thirteen January thirteenth, um, two thousand seventeen to February the fourteenth. So pretty, pretty mild. We had some cold weather at the beginning of the month, but you know we made a lot of power too. Anyway, rundown. Distribution service, seven dollars and four cent. All right, nine cent for electrical supply service. Uh, no, excuse me, generation. Transmission, three cent and four cent for fuel. So nine three is twelve. Yep, nine and three is twelve and four. So electric bill is eighteen cent. Not bad. So, so and sixteen cent. Excuse me. Whoa. Nine and three. Uh, mm -mm, twelve. Yeah, sixteen cent. Sorry, y'all. Had brain cramp. Anyway, Chesterfield County utility tax. Utility tax. Dollar forty three. And 863 is the total current charges. So altogether, the actual bill is only 16 cents. So not bad, not bad. Um, let's see, any more rundowns? Uh, oh, here, oh, here are the conditions. I'll show you the conditions. Weather, weather makes a big difference. And here are the conditions here right now. It is 70, right, 72 outside right now. The 78.4 in here is all this inverters and charge controllers and everything running. So, so 73.1 today was the maximum temperature, three mile an hour wind. Wind's not doing much today. But, okay, 113. Give you a rundown. What it was like. Cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. But overall, we made some pretty good. A lot of rain. Some rain, a lot of rain in there. Rain, rain. But we still made good power. Still good, made good power. Cloudy. So, but February. Cloudy, about 
22.2, 21 kilowatt hours. 18.9, 19.4, clear. 11.7, partly cloudy. Cloudy, 15.1. Windy. Uh, let's see, 11.3. Okay, it's partly cloudy. Cloud 12.9, real cloudy, 5.5. Then we had some more partly cloudy days, 16.6 .6 kilowatt hours. Really windy and clear, perfect condition, 22.5 kilowatt hours. 4.9, cloudy, cloudy 7.9. Clear 20.8. Okay, just, and it was warm, it was warm. And the high temperatures for the high for the day, it's like 64 degrees, 64 degrees, 74 yesterday. The 14th was 49 degrees. High 56, high 81. Uh, hey, you know, weather and solar make a big difference. Well, anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Uh, anyway, y'all, I want to thank y'all for watching so much. And uh, I like to do these so, um solar PV and, and wind power um, and wind home power bills every month let you see what the system's doing what the power bills doing but it makes a big difference y'all uh, saving energy is weather weather and renewable energy are everything so anyway y'all thanks for watching please subscribe God bless and Semper Fi hey y'all check out Dar Sizzle Offshore check out our channel kick but Darcy and Brian do a heck of a job. All right now. Thanks a lot. Y'all have a good one y'all. Thank you.